This is Plant-Based Briefing. Lower rates of erectile dysfunction linked to plant-based diets by Megan Edwards at ForksOverKnives.com. And I'm Marian Erickson, and this is the Curated Content Plant-Based Podcast, where I narrate a variety of articles related to plant-based and vegan living with permission in about 10 minutes or less every weekday. When I first went plant-based, it was in the summer of 2019. It was after learning about how bad meat, dairy, and eggs were for you. At the time, I was already vegetarian, so I just had to get rid of the dairy and eggs and the processed foods going whole food plant-based. But I had to learn how to cook, and I started researching like crazy, listening to every podcast, reading every blog I could get my hands on, and I inadvertently learned many of the other reasons for living a vegan lifestyle. Podcast hosts, for example, would have an animal rights person on for an episode or somebody talking about the environmental reasons to live vegan. I learned about the pharmaceutical industry and how the vast majority of antibiotics are given to farmed animals and how we're at risk for antibiotic resistance and pandemics are caused because of animal agriculture and there's slavery in our seafood. There are so many reasons that kept blowing my mind, so many reasons to live vegan that I realized I can probably share some of this with people. I'm a voiceover artist, I have a home recording studio. It's easy for me to share these articles with you in audio format. I personally like to listen to books and podcasts because I can listen while I'm doing other things. So I've been a longtime fan and subscriber to the Optimal Living Daily and Optimal Finance Daily podcasts by Justin Malik. And this is what my podcast is modeled after. I loved his concept. I still love it. I reached out to Justin when I was creating my podcast and he gave me some great tips to get started. So I also recommend checking out Optimal Living Daily as well. But I got permission from dozens of amazing content creators to share their content here. So today's episode is from Forks Over Knives an amazing organization founded after the release of the 2011 now world-famous documentary Forks Over Knives. You can watch it for free on their website, and I'll put a link to it in the show notes, and I highly recommend it. And now let's get to today's plant-based briefing. Lower Rates of Erectile Dysfunction Linked to Plant-Based Diets by Megan Edwards at ForksOverKnives.com Whole food plant-based diets have been linked to decreased rates of heart disease, diabetes, cancer, and other life-threatening ailments. Now researchers are taking a closer look at the diet's potential benefits for sexual health. A new study presented at the American Association of Urology 2021 conference found that the closer a man sticks to a healthy plant-based diet, the less likely he is to suffer from erectile dysfunction. Researchers looked at data collected from 2,549 men between the ages of 41 and 64 who participated in the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey from 1988 to 1994. They began by developing a Healthful Plant-Based Diet Index, HPDI, based on the food frequency questionnaire the men filled out as part of the survey. From there, researchers examined the association between a high HPDI score and the frequency of reported erectile dysfunction. Of the total participants, 57.4% reported some degree of ED. After multiple variables were accounted for, the researchers discovered that with every unit increase in a man's HPDI score, his risk of ED decreased. Sexual health is closely linked to cardiovascular health, Erections require healthy blood vessels and good blood flow to the penis, explains Stacy Loeb, MD, professor of urology at NYU Grossman School of Medicine. Erectile dysfunction has been called the canary in the coal mine, as it may precede cardiovascular events by several years. Consuming more healthful plant-based foods has been linked with a lower risk of cardiovascular disease, so it's not surprising that they're also associated with a lower risk of erectile dysfunction. The Myth of Masculinity and Meat A diet full of red meat has long been considered a marker of quote-unquote true masculinity and virility in Western cultures, but Loeb points out that the scientific literature refutes that assumption. Numerous studies have shown that men who consume more meat are more likely to develop erectile dysfunction. 
It is also important to note that the World Health Organization classifies processed meats like hot dogs and bacon as group 1 carcinogens, i.e. causes cancer, the same category as smoking and asbestos. The World Health Organization classifies other meats like beef, pork, and lamb as group 2A carcinogens, which means they probably cause cancer. Plant-based diets support prostate health, too. At the same time this study was released, two other studies were presented at the conference that linked a healthy vegan diet to lower PSA levels and decreased risk of prostate cancer in men. In both studies, researchers tracked data from thousands of men across the United States and looked at whether diet choices impacted prostate health. The study that examined PSA levels concluded there is a significant association between a plant-based diet and lower PSA levels. The authors are now urging all medical professionals to incorporate diet as part of their treatment plans for men who are at an elevated risk of developing cancer. In the study that explored the relationship between plant-based diets and rates of prostate cancer diagnosis, researchers found that men under 65 at the time of diagnosis were less likely to develop advanced stages of cancer if they adhered to a healthful diet. Additionally, the data indicated that younger men who eat a plant-based diet have a significantly reduced risk of ever being diagnosed or dying from prostate cancer. Increased consumption of a healthy plant-based diet has significant benefits for urologic and sexual health, says Loeb. These studies show that dietary interventions can make positive impacts for overall health, as well as specific urologic conditions faced by millions of men. You just listened to Lower Rates of Erectile Dysfunction Linked to Plant-Based Diets by Megan Edwards at ForksOverKnives.com. And I'm your host, Marian Erickson. And a number of the plant-based health documentaries also touch on this. One of the great ones is The Game Changers. It's really targeted towards men, towards athletes, towards people who have bought into the myth that eating meat is normal, natural, and necessary. So I'll put a link to that documentary in the show notes as well. And please share this episode with anyone who might benefit. And thanks for listening.